born in a village in the middle of the Delta Nile. Paese, quanti abitanti questo paese? Well, it's increasing. So, quando, uh, quando è when nata, I was born. Quando è nata lei? Uh, when I, yes. Sì. Uh, English, please, English. <laughs> Can you speak English? Uh, Oh, they were about maybe 1,000. I suoi genitori erano nativi di quel villaggio? Both of them from the village, but, uh, but uh, the family of my la famiglia di mia madre came from uh, a feudal family who were rich and upper class and uh, they were living in Cairo but they have a big land in the village the, the family of the mother but the family of the father were poor and uh, working in the field yeah. E i nonni, i nonni paterni quindi stavano in quel villaggio. Ma, yes, uh, my, I haven't seen the father of my father, El Sadawi, you know, El Sadawi no. is, is the name of my grandfather, the father of my father. I haven't seen him, he died before I was born, but uh, my grandmother, she was a, a very strong woman, she was the leader of the village, yeah. She was illiterate and she, she used to work in the field. E chi era più bravo a raccontare, la nonna paterna o la mamma? No, uh, in fact, my grandmother, not my mother, but they are different. My grandmother, the ruler, the one who was poor, she was a character, a personality, because she lost her husband when she was young, and uh, she was the leader, and she was rebelling, and uh, she was a, a character, and she was full of stories. But my mother came from an upper class. She was um, a bit, uh, you know, spoiled, coquettish, like that. So she told us stories, more or less Western stories, Turkish stories, because she had Turkish blood. But really the grandmother, the paternal one, the, the illiterate village one, affected my personality more than my mother. Quindi tutta la tradizione, la storia, gli aneddoti eh, del villaggio sono state trasmesse attraverso la nonna paterna. Esatto, sì. Ero molto affettato, non solo dalle storie, ma anche dalle stories, though some of the stories were negative about the jinn and spirits and all that, and uh, also some of the traditional patriarchal, because my grandmother also, as a village woman, she was in favor of boys rather than girls. But uh, generally her character was, uh, was very dissident and, uh, yes, and rebelling. So this attracted me a great deal. Uh, her character more, her action, her everyday action, her, her rebelling against the mayor was much more than the stories that she told me. Quindi era la 
nonna paterna attratta dalla, dalla popolazione maschile ma anche ribelle. Yes, she was a rebel against the mayor because she was still against the king and the British. She used to sing with the women against the British and against the king. But uh, she had only one boy, just my father, one boy. And she had six daughters. So she had a lot of daughters. <laughs> so she, did, she didn't like them. <laughs> And she herself inherited the tradition of preferring the boys to the girls, yeah. Ah, should I speak here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I would like to look at him. <laughs> okay. Ha conosciuto le zie materne. Paterne, le zie paterne. Le sei zie. Yes. Yes, I met, uh, because they are the sisters of my father. So I met all of them. Oh, yes. Sì. The six, I met, I met all of them, but uh, they died. All of them died now. E che atteggiamento avevano queste zie verso di lei? <laughs> Ambiguous. <laughs> well, I, I had a problem uh, with the society, with the family, because I was very, very different from my sisters. Uh, we were nine children, nine three boys and six girls. So I was very, very um, uh, disobedient, you know, you can say disobedient, yeah. Very, dis since I was a little child, yeah. I was disobedient. So they didn't like me, but they liked me, you know, it was paradox, yeah. Ma disobbediva al, al, al padre o alla nonna o alle zie? All of them. A tutti. <laughs> <laughs> All, yes. I, I felt that, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, part of it is genetic, maybe, part related to the mind, uh, to the character, or maybe I heard something when I was young. And my mother also was rebelling, my mother. So in a way, uh, there was something that made me very, very dissatisfied with the surrounding around me. I felt that, no, I am not going to continue like that. I have to change my life. Quindi aveva dinanzi due ribelli, la nonna e la mamma. Yes, yes, exactly. My grandmother, the peasant one, not the mother of my mother, because this was a very weak personality. No, no. Yes, the, uh, the, the paternal grandmother, the mother, and also the father, because my father also was a rebel. Ma la ribellione della nonna paterna e la ribellione della mamma e la ribellione del padre erano differenti, erano ribellioni differenti tra loro. Tre modelli di ribellione. Yes, they were very different, and also the rebellion was limited. You know, uh, they, they were rebelling, but to a limited way. Sì. 
fino a che punto? For instance, as I said, my grandmother, she preferred boys. So this was the limitation. She inherited uh, the male mentality, patriarchal. My mother, she was rebellion against my father, against the husband. But she was not politically rebellion. She was against it, only because she was a housewife. Uh, my father was rebellion against the government and against the British. But he was ah. patriarchal, but he, he, he was patriarchal. So each one of these personality, they had a rebellion in one aspect only, one aspect of the life, but they accepted the other as. For me, I was against everything, you know. I was against the, pol the politics, against the sexuality, etc. Quindi, diciamo, la, la ribellione eh, paterna era una ribellione politica verso l'autorità eh, in quel momento, l'autorità statale in quel momento. E la ribellione materna era una ribellione politica ma verso l'autorità familiare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, my father rebellion was against the gov political and the economic general uh, not very much in relation he was very much in favor of patriarchy my mother was against patriarchy against the, the oppression of the husband or anything in the family uh, but politically she was not because she was limited in her home She was not very much rebellion politically against the government or um, my grandmother, her rebellion was related to the village because they lived in poverty. The mayor exploited them. Uh, so her area was economic. She was against class because she was poor, but she was not against male domination and she was against the king and the government. So I can say that they were very, very different, but still political, of course. E, e per l'aspetto religioso, la, qual era l'atteggiamento della nonna paterna, l'atteggiamento della mam, madre e l'atteggiamento del padre? My grandmother, who was peasant, illiterate, she never read the Quran. So, uh, and, but she used to pray and to fast Ramadan, but she had a philosophy which I learned when I was young. Uh, she told me, Rabbina huwa al-adli, this is in Arabic. It means uh, God is justice and we know him by our mind. This is a very important, crucial, philosophical lesson in my life from my grandmother. God is justice and we know him by our mind. So this is the first lesson in religion and in Islam from the illiterate grandmother. My father and my mother, but she was a believer, of course. She believed in God and she believed, she inherited the belief in God. My father, he graduated from Al Azhar, Al Azhar, the big Islamic institution. He was an Islamic scholar, but he had, a, because of his mother, because of his mother, he, Uh, he also looked to Islam in a very progressive way. Uh, he, he told me, uh, God is not a book. God is not the Quran or the Bible. God is justice. You know, as his mother said, God is justice and Islam is based on the mind. 
My mother was a bit, um, you know, she, she was not very interested in religion. She didn't pray, except when she had a crisis. <laughs> when there is a crisis, she prays to God. <laughs> if there is no crisis, she doesn't pray. <laughs> That's my mother. She was pragmatic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but she fasted Ramadan. And she told me something very, very important in my life. Uh, because we inherited the fear of the hellfire that, you know, everywhere I go, they tell me you should obey God or you will go to hell. Even my grandmother, she believed in hell. And also my father believed in hell and in paradise. And my mother too, but my mother told me something very important which opened my mind. She told me there is no hellfire. <laughs> That's my mother. There is no hellfire. La madre. My mother, yes. She, she, she said it. I don't know how did. I was very young. And this came to it exactly like my grandmother when she said, Rabbena huwa al-adla al-kub So my mother said, ma fish nar wala hag. Ma fish nar. There is no fire. So this in a way, took some of my fear of the hellfire. Quindi c'era o l'inferno o, o il paradiso, non c'era una stagione intermedia. Nothing, just hell or paradise. That's religion, you know. Quindi, e, e lei ha cominciato a scuola anche un'educazione sia culturale sia religiosa, a scuola. Uh, I went to school, yes. School. But uh, my father went to a, a small town called Menouf. So I went to a British school, an English school. That's why I, uh, but before that, so I want, I have to go systematically. Prima. <laughs> yes. After the village, we went to Alexandria. Alexandria. Ah. Yes. Ah. Ecco. Yes. After the village. Quanti anni aveva lei yeah. quando è venuto il trasferimento? Quanti anni aveva? dal villaggio ad Alessandria. Quanti uh, anni aveva? Uh, you know, I can say from uh, uh, three till uh, six. Uh, three till six or seven. So we spent four years in Alexandria. The, the, from three ah. till seven, yes. In Alexandria. Because my father, he was a allora, teacher. La nonna, la nonna paterna non l'ha vista dai tre ai sette anni. No, she used to come and visit us. Ah. Oh, yes, my grandmother. Veniva. Oh, my grandmother and also the, my, the family of my uh, mother, they used to come and visit us. Veniva. Oh, yes. She used to come Anche le zie. to visit, yes. Anche le zie. And our aunts, yes. They used to come and visit us all the time. So uh, I, uh, in Alexandria, the first time I go to school in Alexandria, that's why I studied French. That's the years I studied French here. Uh, yeah. Because we studied Arabic and French. And then my father was, the government transferred him ah. to Menouf. A che, a che età a, a scuola? A scuola di Alessandria, a, a che età a scuola? È andata a scuola? You know, 1931, 1932. I was, 
Nata la 31, file, sì. File, uh, 1936. 36. Yes, when I entered. 36 è andata a scuola, 5 yes, anni. 5 anni. Quindi ha fatto un anno ad Alessandria. Un anno di scuola ad Alessandria. No, no, no. Eh, no, eh, from 38. So three years. Three years. Till 38. And then we went to Munuf. Yes. From here we can say three years. Three years in Alexandria. 6, 7, 8. 1936 and 7 and 8. And then we went to Munuf. Ah. Mm -hmm. Quindi lei è andata ad Alessandria nel 36. Mm -hmm. Aveva 5 anni. 3 years. 3. 5, yes. 5. Yes. 5. I was born 1931. This Nel 36 è andata ad Alessandria, 36. Yes. 36 ad Alessandria. Yeah. Dal 36 al 38 ha fatto le scuole ad Alessandria. Tre anni. Yes. Ok. Yes. Yeah. And where I studied French. Ok. Suo padre, lì ad Alessandria, che lavoro faceva? He was in... Um, he was a teacher, teacher Segnante. of Arabic and Islam, Arabo. and Islam, okay. e, e, in a high school, in high school, okay. yes. E gli insegnanti di francese erano francesi o erano arabi? Arabi. Uh, one was, I remember, one was French and one was Egyptian. Uh, Egyptian, yeah. One was French. Uno insegnava lingua francese e l'altro letteratura francese? O tutte e due lingue francesi? Uh, no, uh, uh, because the school had many teachers, many teachers. So, They had two French, two French, two French teachers. I remember two because they they alternate, they changed. So they both, I think one taught me the first year, and she was changed, and another French teacher taught me the second year. The third year was the Egyptian teacher. So they changed, but there, it's a big school, and there, are, there were many teachers, but all Egyptians, okay. yeah. Allora, il, su sì. il suo insegnante di Islam, chi era? In this school? Sì. Uh, we had a man, a man, a teacher, a man who taught us Arabic and Islam, like my father. Because usually uh, in those schools, in the primary school and high ah, school, okay. uh, the teacher who teaches Arabic, he teaches Islam. Poi, dopo tre anni, avviene la trasferimento, 1938, avviene il trasferimento da Alessandria a un altro paese. A small town called Minuf in Minuf. the Delta. Nile Delta, yes, called Minuf. Minuf. Sempre come insegnante il padre. Trasferito come insegnante a Minuf. No, he, he became director of education. Direttore. Director of education, and I went to the English school in Minuf, in English mission school, yeah. And that's why I shifted from French to English. Quindi tre anni di francese, tre anni di francese e poi è passata alla mm -hmm. scuola inglese. English. La scuola che poi ha imparato l'inglese. Yes. Uh, nine, In questa scuola nine, suo padre era il direttore. No, 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 no. He no. was director in the education in scuola. administration. He, he was director ah. of all schools in the area 
of the primary and high schools in the area. He was administration, yeah. Un provveditore, provveditore agli studi. Higher director of sì, director, sì, sì. Direct, direttore uh, dell'educazione. Uh, director of uh, primary education. Uh, it was called at that time compulsory education because the government uh, had two types, the private for the very rich and the compulsory, compulsory education uh, for the general. So my father was director of the compulsory education of the government. Della scuola dell'obbligo. Yeah. Anche lei eh, studiava nella scuola dell'obbligo. No, no. No, nella scuola per studiare no. ricchi? No, my father sent rich. Ah. Uh, my ah. father my father sent me to the English because here they didn't teach ah. English. They taught only Arabic. And my father, okay. my father was very, very ambitious. He was, yes, and he said, I remember he told me, I wrote that in my autobiography. Era ambizioso e intelligente. Yes, he was, yes, and the long, and he was also uh, because he was uh, not traditional. So he told me, the British is our enemy. They invaded our country. In order to conquer the British, we have to learn their language. <laughs> you know? That's what he said. So he told me, if, if I send you to the compulsory, you will learn Arabic only. But if we want really to understand our enemy, we should study English. <laughs> That's why he sent me to the English and he paid money here. This was no money, no money. It was free, free education. But here he has to pay money. E a che età ha cominciato ad avere dei dubbi sulla sull'Islam, sulla fede? Dubbi religiosi. very early in life, very early. Uh, why? Because in school, uh, here in the British, I remember the director of the British school called Miss, Miss Hamer, Miss Hamer. I remember her name quite well. She was the director of the English school. She was very... Hamer, Hamer. Uh, Miss Hamer, yes. Oh. She was a British woman, very cruel, very severe, and uh, very patriarchal, and very colonizing. Autoritaria, matriarcale. Uh, yes. Matriarcale. Authoritarian. Ma era, era matriarcale o patriarcale? No, patriarchal. Patriarcal. Patriarchal. She... Uh, uh, she absorbed the patriarchal culture, she absorbed the colonial. Però le, lei stessa, lei stessa, la, la signora Emer, aveva una sua, era autoritaria. Autoritaria. Very authoritarian, very. And she made me hate the British more. And I wrote, I wrote about her in my autobiography. <laughs> yeah. And I remember uh, Miss Hamer, she, she discriminated between the rich uh, students and the poor students. And I was in the middle. I was, I was in the middle, not poor and not rich. So I was in the middle. But she despised the poor children. She treated them very bad. She, so she was patriarchal and class, 
class-oriented and patriarchal. Also in, in Minuf, we had in Ma'mur, Ma, Ma'mur, who was the, the head of the village. And the daughter of the Ma'mur was in, in the school with me. So Miss Hamer uh, uh, preferred the daughter of <laughs> Mahmoud, yeah, because she was afraid of him. She was afraid of Mahmoud. Yeah, he, he is the big man, so his daughter was the big daughter <laughs> in school. So I, I, I felt very angry with Miss Hamer because she did not treat us equally, though I was very good in school. I was the top of the class, but she didn't care about that. <laughs> she cared about the Ma'mur <laughs> and about the people who have money. So in a way, I learned in this school a lot of things, a lot. So when you ask me about uh, my uh, Islamic uh, tendency, I started here to, to read the Bible because Miss Hamer used every morning while we are in the school, in the morning she reads the Bible <laughs> to us. And uh, there was a church in, in the village in which we go to the church also. So in a way, I was very, very uh, started to be introduced to Christianity Judaism and Islam. And I had a friend called Sarah, who was a Jewish, uh, Jewish and Isis, and Nawal. So we, the three of us were very good friends. Sarah, the Jewish, and Isis, the, the Coptic, we call her Coptic, and Nawal, the Muslim. We were very good, but Miss Hamer and the school separated us. She said, Nawal, you go and study the Quran. And Isis, you go with the Coptic girls, study the, the New Testament. And Sarah, you go with the Jewish girls and study the Old Testament. So they separated us. So I started to know, what's this religion? You know? And we started to read. I remember when we were children, we went to church together and to the mosque and we were reading the, the three holy books, the Old Testament and the New Testament and the Quran. And this, from these years, I started to be interested in those books and to read them and to study them, you know, mm. and to compare. So this, since, since this, Ma la, era una classe mista, eh, allievi e allieve, o solo allieve? No, we were girls only. Only girls. Solo bambini. Only girls, yes. Segregazione? Uh, yes, girls. Segregazione. Yes, girls only. Oh. But uh, we had Copts, Jewish, and Muslims. So it was segregation between boys and girls. Sì. But not religious. Sì. Quindi i bambini erano altra classe. I bambini eh, altra classe, non, no, the, non nella stessa classe. No, no, this was a school, a school for girls. Solo per bambine. It's a school for girls. Yeah. E poi c'era una scuola per i bambini. Yes, for, for boys, yes. And it was next to us. In fact, we were separated by a wall. The boys used to come and jump to the girls. <laughs> allora, questa scuola dal 1938 fino a che anno? A uh, Menù. Uh, yes, here. 1942. Ah, yes. Quindi qu quattro anni. Quattro anni. Yes, exactly. 1942, I took what we call in Ibtidaeya, the primary certificate, primary certificate. 
in 1942. Okay, boy. And after 1942, I went to uh, Seneya School, Seneya, Seneya High School, High School, High School for Girls. This is in Cairo. So I left the family alone. I took the train. My father put me in the train. I went to Cairo and I entered the Seneya uh, school girls. Uh, and I lived with my aunt. Uh, the sister of my mother. A Cairo, Cairo. Cairo. Now I left, I left this. 42 and then to Cairo, dopo il 42. Da, da Menouf al Cairo. I, I moved because there was no school, no high school in the village. So I have to go to Cairo. E, e, e il padre è rimasto a Menouf o è, andato, è venuto anche lui al Cairo? He's, no. No. Padre. No, he stayed in Menouf. È rimasto lì. Because that's his job. I have to go alone. Amministrazione. And, yes, and I have to live with my aunt, the sister of my mother. She was living in Cairo, ah, so ecco. I have to live with her. But I stayed only one year. Only one year. 42-43. Yes, because uh, my... Uh, I, I, did, I was rebelling against my aunt and her husband because they did not treat me well. They, treat, they didn't treat me like uh, their children. So I felt there is discrimination and I hated that. Since I was a child. Cosa I, diceva? Eh, le dicevano, tu sei una contadina, viene da da piccolo villaggio. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. They looked down. So, because my aunt was bourgeois, mm. snobbish, mm. upper class, mm. and I came from the village, mm. poor mm. girl, with no home, homeless. Uh. <laughs> so uh, she treated me not like her. So I was very angry, very angry. And I, uh, I decided not to stay, and also she didn't want me to stay because I was rebelling. I created a lot of problems for them. <laughs> so I had to move from my aunt to go to the, my grandfather the, of, the, my, of my mother. Quindi, 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 la sua ribellione è una non accettazione dell'ingiustizia. Exactly. Exactly. That's my problem. From, from the village here, till today, till today, I am against injustice. I cannot tolerate it. I rebel. When there is injustice, I rebel. So I couldn't live with my aunt. I was very angry. So my father came to Cairo and he took me to the house, big house of my grandfather, the father of my mother. Big house with a big garden, bourgeois life. But my grandfather was dead. So I lived with my aunt, the other aunt, and the uncles here in this big house. So, uh, and I continued my high school, but then I was rebelling also here. Perché I couldn't live with them. I had problems. Perché yeah. anche, anche queste altre zie si, si comportavano meglio della prima zia, ma non, non tanto bene. 
they were the same, the same, because they were sisters. Uh. Uh. They were sisters, and they have the same mentality, and they look down also to us as peasant and poor, and so it's the same problem with this big house. So my father was, what I'm going to do with this? <laughs> he was really, he told me, can't you be obedient? I said, no, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. So my father at that time, he told my mother, and there were men coming for me to marry me because I was grown up. In, in fact, since I was 10 years. Quanti anni, quanti anni è stata queste, queste altre zie? One year, only one year. Un anno qui? One year here and one year here. Un anno qui. E poi? E poi? And then I went to the boarding school. I went to boarding school in Helwan. College, college. Yeah, Helwan. I went to the boarding. So I spent one horrible year here, another horrible one year here, and my father went to my mother and told her, I remember he told her, what we are going to do with your daughter. Quindi nel 45 va in collegio, 1945. Exactly. 1945. Exactly. And then I, I stayed in Helwan till, till I went to the medical college. So 1948. 45 till 48. And then in 49, I went to the medical college. But we'll come to this. So the boarding, I spent in the boarding school in Helwan. Helwan is a district of Cairo. But it's very interesting here because my father decided to marry me off because he was fed up. <laughs> he was fed up. I could not live here. I could not live here. So where should he send me? The, the idea of the boarding school did not come to him. So he told my mother, I think Nawal is grown up now and we should get rid of her. She should marry. <laughs> but I rebelled against marriage. I said, no, I'll never marry. <laughs> and my mother supported me because I was very good in school. My mother supported me. So my father sent me to the boarding school in Helwan. Yeah. Ecco, eh, quindi in collegio cosa ha imparato di, di, di nuovo? Uh, a lot. This is uh, the years of formation, you know, because from 1945 in 1948, 49, I was uh, in a boarding school living with the girls, with my peers. And there were teachers also, teachers. And uh, I used to play tennis. I, I used to read in the library. So life was open. Life was open for me because there was library, there was books teachers play tennis, so I felt I am free. And I had no family, because here, here I had a family. Here, no family. <laughs> so I was free here. C'era una biblioteca in collegio? Yes, there was a, a library. It was not really a good one, but for me, it was good. <laughs> at that time, because I loved books, but I, I didn't have money to buy books, so I found the library. Biblioteca, cosa c'era? Islam, letteratura, arte, scienza, libri della biblioteca. Not many books, but there were novels, okay. Arabic novels. Arabic novels, English novels, <laughs> Jane Austen, Charlotte Bronte, you know, uh, many English and Arabic uh, novels. So I, 
I started to read a lot of novels. E anche libri di arte, arte. Ah, some, some, o meno, some, o meno. some, but not much. Some. Non tanti. Yeah. <coughs> Quindi le materie che studiava in collegio erano materie eh, che si direbbero scienze umane. Umane e religiose. We studied in high school, you know, the curricula. It was limited. It was a limited curricula as all educational uh, teaching. So we studied Arabic, we studied uh, religion, we studied history, but history in a very distorted way. History from the point of the government. We studied um, biology, uh, chemistry, you know, all these uh, standard high school. Standard. Uh, but for me, uh, this is important, for me, because I was reading in the library and I had to open up my mind, I was not satisfied with the education in school. I felt it's very limited. That's why I prefer the library to the school. Ma in collegio hai incontrato qualche maestro vero? Uh, 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 yes, I can say that I remember the teacher of chemistry. Uh, her, um, she, uh, she was a Coptic uh, Christian teacher. Her name was Ellen. Ellen, I remember her name, Ellen. Miss Ellen, we call her Miss Ellen. She was the teacher of chemistry. And I loved chemistry because of her. The way she taught chemistry, opened my mind to chemistry. Uh. And that's why I, in fact, I love chemistry. And even I went to the medical college. I didn't go to the art because the, the, the teacher of art was very limited. Teacher of humanities, history, uh, teacher of um, geography, uh, teacher of literature. She was limited, but Ellen, the teacher of chemistry, she was very creative. So I loved chemistry and I loved science. I started to love science more than art, you know, because of the teacher. Questa insegnante era quindi anche un po' maestra di vita. No, 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 she no. was... Solo a, brava nell'insegnare la chimica. She was not a really a fascinating personality. No, she was very, very ordinary. But relative to the other teachers, also I, I can say uh, I loved the, the teacher of English. Her name was Saneya. Miss Saneya. So those two teachers, Miss Saneya and Miss Ellen, those, Miss Saneya made me love the English language. Here, I started to read Jane Austen because of Miss Saneya, the English teacher. The chemistry teacher made me love science. So I loved science and English literature. So that's the two teachers that affected me. E lei ha, ha incominciato a scrivere in collegio? I started writing very early in life, yes, very early. I had a diary. Diario. I kept a diary, yes, very early in life. 
la base di tutto è questo. And here, my... <laughs> yes, uh, here, when I was under the horrible aunt and the horrible family of my mother, I kept a diary here, very, very important diary here, because I felt miserable. So I had to write, you know, <laughs> because I was very miserable here, so I had to write. I had no body except the paper and the pen. Quindi nel 1949 lei si iscrive a uh, medicina. Exactly, medical college. Mm -hmm. In fact, I a didn't... A Cairo, sempre a Cairo. Yes, in Cairo. But... Uh, stava, I, non, dove abitava? Non più in collegio. My father... The government, because my father wrote a letter to the government and told them I want to transfer, to go back to, to Cairo because he was punished for his rebelling. <laughs> he, he joined demonstrations, etc. So the government punished him and made him stay 10 years in the, in the village, in Minouf. He stayed in Minouf 10 years. So he wrote a letter and he joined the opposition and he wrote a letter and he said, I have a daughter in the medical college, I should be in Cairo. So they transferred him to Cairo. So the whole family came to Cairo in 1949, yes, the whole family. Però lei dunque aveva tre, eravate tre, eh, tre sei sorelle e tre fratelli. Quindi, chi era il primogenito? Uh, my brother, Tala, but he, his name was Tala, Tala, Tala. Tala. The first Tala. boy, yes. And I was the second, Nawal. One year, one year, one year only. And then the others came, so I was the second. E, e che rapporto, cioè, come erano le conversazioni con Tala? Nelle varie fasi, da bambina, very, fino a donna. Very, very, very contradictory. It's love, hate, love, hate. I hated him because he was a boy, he was spoiled. They preferred him to me, though he was, he failed in school. He was lazy in school. He didn't work in school. He didn't work at home. I, very, I worked at school, I was the top of the class, I worked at home, etc. And he, was ha he had many privileges, so I hated him. I quarreled. <laughs> I quarreled with him all the time. But he was my only friend, you know. <laughs> so I had a very contradictory relation with him. E con gli altri fratelli e le altre sorelle come andavano le cose? They were younger than me because uh, I was very near Talal.